Hey folks, Captain Blair Wiggins here from Addictive Fishing Television. I want to show you some features of my brand new 2015 SX240 from Skeeter. First thing I want to show you, one of the most awesome features that I've seen in a bay boat. If you've seen the show, you know I love to keep fish. Anybody out there loves to keep fish or just for a cooler. This compartment right here, and there's two big 30 pound kingfish in here, can hold you know, all the drinks and ice you could want for a week in there. If you can see, I push down on those latches and what it does, there's a seal around there that actually seals this ice box and it doesn't drain in the boat. It drains right over the side. It's just like your Ingle cooler. If you have an Ingle cooler, that's how good that holds ice. Awesome feature on this boat. Next thing I want to show you, pop up cleats, pretty much standard on the boat. Next thing here is the anchor locker. Great size for an anchor locker on a bay boat. I take my bay boat out where I can anchor in literally 300 foot of water. So there's enough storage in here for 600 foot of line and a great big anchor that'll hold me in that, in that current off the Atlantic. But uh, big enough to hold my anchor to hold the Skeeter down, that's for sure. Another great feature on the boat, another pop-up cleat, is underneath where the trolling motor mounts here is a plate of steel. And what that does, it secures your trolling motor down very tight and if you notice this right here, it's removable. So anytime you want to take the trolling motor off, say you take the family out, you know, you can take that off and not use it. Another great feature, take a look at the rod locker here. We'll hold all my offshore rods, holds everything up to my eight foot fly rod, all the equipment I need to, uh, to get out there and go fishing with. And uh, if you don't take it out fishing, you can always put picnic stuff in there, take your family out and uh, great family boat too. The first hatch I'm going to show you is where all your safety gear goes. There is plenty of room down here to hold six life jackets, your throw cushion, anything else that you want to put in there. Lots of room in there, nice and dry. And if you notice this seal around here, just like the cooler, when you put it down and you lock it, it creates a little bit of pull down pressure on that. So what it's going to do, it's going to seal in there. No water is going to get in there. Same with this hatch here. This is just an extra hatch for storage, wherever you need to put stuff. And let me show you one thing about this Skeeter boat here. You would not take a weight like this and drop it down inside of a fiberglass hatch. It would do nothing but chip it. Inside a Skeeter, you can drop stuff in there and it's not gonna chip your paint. Another great feature on this boat. Another awesome one, right here. I throw a cast net catch a lot of bait. I put two to three different cast nets in here. It's got a great big drain hole back there just in case you might happen to have any of them little minnows that get stuck in your net. Wash them right through, drain right out the back. Now I'm going to show you the helm right here. Up front we have a bait well. Awesome feature on this boat because when I'm fishing up in front of the boat I don't want to have to walk all the way to the back of the boat where the other bait well is. I'll keep about 12 or 15 baits in here and they stay good and alive. They're nice and frisky, especially if I'm transferring them up here. I'll go back and get a scoop full, put in here, fish, and when it starts running low again, I'll go back and get another scoop full. But that's why this live well is up here. Plus it doubles as a great seat. Another thing I want to show you is access to the inside of the console. I could literally crawl through this helm right here to get in there and be able to work on everything. Skeeter knows things you know, are gonna come loose. It's, you, you're in a boat, you're gonna be crashing down. If it comes loose, it's real easy to get to to fix. No problem at all. Great access, great feature on the helm. Now let me show you the back of the boat back here. You know, one thing you're gonna notice about this console, it's nice and shiny. It's got stainless steel rod holders on the sides, both of them, it'll hold eight rods right there. Beautiful, beautiful console. As you notice, there's nothing really on here right now. Like I said, it's brand new. The hummingbirds are gonna be going in here on Saturday, I believe it is. So next time you see this boat, it's gonna be loaded up with all the greatest hummingbird products that are available out there. One thing I really love, there's a lip right here. Everybody sets their cell phones up there, sets all kinds of junk up there. When you give it gas, it always ends up in your lap. With that lip right there, it's not gonna end up in your lap. Notice all the gauges. Nice switches, they're not gonna bust on you. It's got great stainless steel beverage holders right here. I haven't had anything pop out of that yet. It's got a tilt steering wheel. You know, if, if you like your jack plate in the back that comes on the boat, you can get a switch right up here. We call it turn signal switch. Very easy to operate from right there. Next thing, Yamaha, best motors on the market, best shifters as well. This is an electronic shift that Yamaha makes. And what it does, it's run by wire. There's no cables that go back to the motor that control that whatsoever. All electronic, great feature. 
Now let me show you where you're gonna be sitting right behind the driving station here. Great seat, it has a flip down footrest right there. Very, very comfortable ride. The backrest right here actually can be removed. If you wanna stick more rods behind you, you can put more rods back there, but I do prefer that nice seat there because it's a very comfortable ride. Underneath the seat, it's got great storage right here for anything. I put uh, knives, I put extra lures, I put sabiki rigs, all sorts of stuff I put in this compartment right here because it's such an easy access. You don't have to go open any hatches to get to right here, but nice and easy, super easy to clean out. Like I said, this backrest right here comes completely out, offers more rod space in there. Just two more rods, but uh, I do prefer the backrest. Now let me show you the back of the boat. First thing, Standard on every Skeeter right here, you get an Ingle cooler. The best cooler on the market. Holds ice for days. You're out fishing, you got plenty of fishing space back here. All nice sturdy tops on all these hatches. One cool thing, like I said, when you're out with a the family, there's another seat just like this on the other side. Great pads if you're in some rough water. My wife sits here, she puts her purse right there. It's got a nice seal around here, it keeps it nice and dry. Button it back up makes a great fishing platform. Big storage hatch right here. Just a great big hatch to store anything you need to in there. Next awesome feature I wanna show you in this boat. Now Skeeter knows that things may go wrong under, under here, such as bilge pumps, bait well pumps. I can't tell you how many bait well pumps I've been through in my lifetime. But one thing, it is so easy to get to in here. You don't have to grow three elbows, two wrists to try to get these things and replace them. They snap in, snap out. Your sea cocks are right there. Shut the water on, shut the water off. Just great access. They've thought of everything in this boat. Now then, one of my favorites on this is the live well. 35 gallons, got about a thousand baits in there swimming around, ready to go fishing. Once again, this is my 2015 SX240 Skeeter. It's powered by the best motor on the market. It's a 300 Yamaha four stroke. You can hardly hear the thing running. And if y'all notice down here, this is my Atlas jack plate. This allows my motor to go vertically up and down. I was talking about the turn signal switch up there earlier. It allows my motor to go vertically up and down, not just tilting it this way with the tilt and trim that is on the Yamaha, but it, it allows me to get on and off of flat, shallow water without tearing up the environment. Just a great feature. I highly recommend it to put it on any boat. Great option. That about wraps it up for my 2015 SX240 Skeeter. When y'all do get your Skeeter, one good thing that's gonna come is a limited lifetime warranty that's gonna cover any structural damage that might come over a lifetime of the boat. It also comes with a three year bow to stern warranty. It's gonna cover any component that goes wrong. If it goes wrong, they're gonna replace it. So that about wraps it up. Like I said, get you a Skeeter boat. I'm Captain Blair Wiggins and we'll see you on the water.